So here we are. We're in the Gibson, excuse me, the Epiphone showroom. Brand new. David Berryman's pride and joy as it well should be. It is absolutely stunning. And I'm going to do a little sweep here um, just to give you an idea of the different models, etc., that Epiphone makes. Isn't it something? I'll tell you, this is about as impressive as it gets. If you're in the guitar world, you want to be part of it. Um, and of course, up on top, Zero Men, the infamous John Lennon. Yeah, our buddy. We love him. And, um, um, well, there's just a lot of artists here. Other than him, there's the Slash Man who we love. There he is. Yeah. And um, Zach Wilde in the middle there. And of course, let's not forget a guy by the name of Les Paul. Oh yeah. There's Mr. Les. We miss you, Les, and we love you. <laughs> Everybody loves Les. So yeah, so we have, oh, gee whiz, lots of famous artists. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves Epiphone. There's Steinberg, which we carry also. And, um, well, it's just, I think you'll agree, it's, it's quite a showroom, huh? I think so. I know you do too. So let's just take a little walk here. Well, there's Mr. Slash to greet us. Um, it's a beautiful facility. And um, it's the outside wall. Just everything here is done so well. And who else? You might know who's here. John Lennon and his guitar casino, which of course Epiphone has made forever. And which John made famous, I might add. And now we're looking at the acoustic guitar called the Texan. And Paul McCartney has played the Texan since he was a boy. Yeah, so there's Paul. And there's John. Obviously we feature them because they're two beautiful people. And, uh, and when it comes to music, uh, you might say they just have it together. <laughs> yeah. And our newest and latest, and John Hooker. John was a big Epiphone man, loved Epiphone. And uh, how's that for a special guitar? I think that's pretty special. And um, there's David with Paul McCartney. Yeah. So, and then we have the feature wall, of course. That would be right here. And again, just lots of nice, nice pictures and things. Um, and I have to point it out again. Um, there's Mr. John Lennon. Yeah, it says, Man say you want a revolution, well you know we all want to change the world. We know what that's about. And here's Vince Gill, and uh, presented to Epiphone. Thank you, Vince Gill. That's what it says there. Some of the hits he's made, and 
Um, there was just so many people. Seven Dust, who I drove. Um, on their very, very first tour, isn't that something? I'm getting old. Um, Toby Keith Awards here. And, uh, and we just have a lot of people that love Epiphone. So let's walk out to the front area. Um, and here we have music. And this is actually the reception area here. There we have it. Good morning, pretty lady. Good morning. How are you? Are you having a good day? I am, always. Oh, nice. <laughs> Who's this cat here? Well, take that piece of tape off and push the button. You do it. I'll, I'll, I'll film it. Well, this is hot. How sweet is this? Oh, there's David, my buddy. Good morning, David. Welcome, Don. I'll tell you, I love your castle. <laughs> I love your castle. It is so pretty. I just filmed the uh, showroom. Um, I, it, it, it just goes without saying. Excellent. And David, I love this saying right here. Right. Without music, life would be B flat. Right. Life would be flat. There we right. go. You got it. Who thought of that? Whose idea? Well, we found that, but it's appropriate. We wanted to uh, reflect our, the environment here and the, in the uh, and our feeling about music because we make these great instruments that, that people uh, that we're proud to have people play globally that can express their emotions because that's what music is about the universal language and and we're making that we're making the instrument that enables people to do that so that's the it's the cool thing about it sweet and we've been making epiphones for 140 years 1873 1873 and where was the first epiphone made i'm curious I... actually sparta greece that's where the stathopolo family came from and they emigrated to the united states and set up shop in new york city in manhattan on 14th street on they 14th actually, they were made in manhattan Absolutely. how sweet is yeah, that something yeah. And, and as you probably saw from our history wall, Les Paul became very close friends with the son of the founder of Epiphone, Epistathopolo, which is where the name Epiphone came from, is his nickname Epi in the Greek word for sound, which is phone, Epiphone, put together in 1910. That's where the brand came from. It was Stathopolo family. Prior to that, it was House of Stathopolo. That's a lot of words to put on the headstock of an instrument. <laughs> so they wisely changed the name to Epiphone at the passing of the founder, uh, uh, Mr. Stathopolo, which is Anastasius Stathopolo, died and, and passed the management of the company on to his son, Epi. Well, Epi was best buddies with Les Paul. And Les Paul got to tinker in the factory on weekends, okay, on 14th Street, New York, and that's where the log came from, which is Les Paul's first electric guitar. He made it with all the components in the Epiphone factory and added his pickups, which he designed. But the, the underlying neck and the body of the guitar and everything was, were Epiphone. So actually, Epiphone gave birth to Les Paul's electric guitar. So we've come full circle. And because 1957, Gibson bought Epiphone. Okay, so it's the it's the the uh, the circle of of life for for the Les Paul because Les is the one that persuaded Gibson, which was based in Kalamazoo, Michigan at the time. He's the guy that persuaded Gibson to buy Epiphone because of his relationship with 
Epistathopolo, who had since died. Okay, but he knew Epiphone, and he persuaded Gibson to buy Epiphone in 1957. So it's a full circle. Thank you. I, David, I, I never knew. There you go. And now you know the rest of the story. And <laughs> yes, sir, I do. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Har Paul Harvey, Paul page Harvey. three. Right. It's a good Paul Harvey story, isn't it? Yeah. And did one of the reasons I think that we bought Epi was at the time they had a really beautiful uh, upright base. Is that correct? That correct, is correct. That is correct. And as Les tells the story, they had an upright base and they used that triangular Epiphone badge. It was a metal badge that said Epiphone on it that we currently use on some of our electric guitars. Okay? That was the badge that was used on the, the tailpiece uh, and bridge of the upright base. And Les had used that and he put that on top of his log. And when when uh, he, he had a relationship already with Gibson, he wanted Gibson to, to have his, his, uh, so his electric guitar, his solid body electric guitar. And so he took it to Gibson, and as he, he told me the story, he said he took it to Gibson twice. And on the third time, because he got rebuffed twice, they said, no, Les, that's not us, we don't want to do it. Les came back to him a third time. And on the third time, they told Les, okay, we'll do the electric guitar. Okay, and so Gibson took the metal badge that said Epiphone off of the log and inlaid Gibson in the headstock. And as Les tells a story, but it was an Epiphone. <laughs> really? Absolutely. David, I never knew you this. Never knew oh, no. Yeah. yeah, Les told me that story personally. Well, that would be yeah. the guy that would know. He would know. He would I am. Um, I was Absolutely. just at his home a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. In Mawa? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I stay in touch with, you know, Jimmy Wysocki was his friend for 30 years. Right. And, of course, Lou Apollo. Right. They're my good right. friends. And so whenever I'm up there, I stop in. And, yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's all good. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, Les was, Les was the ultimate inventor and tinker. I mean, he, he experimented. He loved to experiment. And that's why, it, you know, the, 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 the Epiphone factory on 14th Street in New York was, was his his uh, toy store. You know, he went in there and he, he was just tinker and they let him alone. On weekends he just had the keys to the building and he went in there and played and he loved it. Told me all about it. And, and so that's where he got all his his uh, resources from. So it's it's truly amazing. I, I never knew this. Yeah. I am so yeah. glad we're yeah. talking today. Go. Wow. Yeah. Well, David, yeah. thank you so yeah. much. You're welcome. This is very nice. All right. Good to have